is the most wonderful time of the year hello and welcome back again to my channel my name is katie and today i'm going to be sharing with you five have you ever wondered why of balloon business but before i share with you that if you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that i would love to have you as a subscriber i'm posting content about balloon styling event rentals and balloon business talk on this channel follow us on all social media platform at near party deco and let's get started have you ever wondered why your balloon garland looks so empty? This is why. You should be using fillers. Fillers range from the sizes of five all the way, I would say, until the sizes of three inches. Fillers, you can put them in between your garland to correct the mistake or to hide the mistake. Or you can also use fillers to highlight your garland. And most definitely, I do use my fillers to shape your garland. So for your garland not to look so empty, you need to use fillers or something else that I use that my garland don't look so empty. For the garland, it depends on the size of the balloons that you have used, but I personally, I like to use an extra large balloon in between the balloons. That way, your garland does not look empty. Have you ever wondered, where did these people get this color combination? You check on all the online, you check on all the shops for, for an exact type of color, but you don't seem to find it. Well, I got answers for you. Just like any other art balloon, you can combine them to make a custom color. Customer colors means that you created them for yourself. It's custom made, you customarily create it, which means you take two balloons of two different colors, combine them together, and to have an outlook of a certain balloon color. So have you ever wondered where did they get this type of balloons or where did they get this color combination of balloons from? Well, that's a secret. When you're creating your balloon garland, you can combine different colors to have an outcome of if you want a pink shade, if you want a blue shade, if you want a green shade, if you want a yellow shade, you can combine the colors to get to the colors that you see on others and you wondered where did they get them from. Have you ever wondered, now that we're still talking about balloon garland, you've put your fillers and you put your extra large balloons, have you ever wondered why your setup looks so empty? Now we are still talking about the balloon. I just told you how your balloon garland cannot look so empty. Well, I'm about to share with you why your setup should not look so empty. So you've put the fillers, you put the extra large balloons on your garland, but there's something missing. Well, I learned it the hard way. I used to look at the inspiration of the pictures that inspire me when I want to do a setup, and I used to be amazed of how beautiful that looks like. But when I did my setup, even though I did everything correctly, something was still missing. Have you ever wondered why? You need to start putting props, flowers, cutout, vinyls into your setup. So you have a certain theme or a certain color scheme that you're trying to reach when you're putting a setup together. So what I would encourage you is put some props together, put some cutout if you have to. You don't want too much, but you also don't want it to be completely bare. And some of your props can include stuffed animals, DIY props, flowers, vinyls etc unless the client says they don't want which in this case i've never met anybody who doesn't want to completely fulfill the theme of the motto which they have to set up so you need to find the props you need to find the cutouts you need to find the vinyls you need to find the flowers to kind of bring out your setup for your setup to stand out so your setup does not look so empty now that we've spoken about mini balloons, we've spoken about fillers, shapers, XL, props, cutout, and flowers. Have you ever wondered how to install flowers on your balloon garland? Well, there are three ways which I use to install flowers on my balloon garland, depending if you're using artificial flowers or fresh flowers. I have used both of them, depending on the client's request. For installing flowers on my balloon garland, I have three ways which I personally have used to install the flowers on my balloon garland. The first way to put fresh flowers on your balloon garland is by using a small cylinder. I purchased this on Amazon sometime and what I normally do is I would fill it with halfway water and I put the fresh flowers inside and then insert inside the garland. That way, even though your garland will stay until the next day or at least a few hours, the flower still looks fresh. I use cylinders to put fresh flowers onto my balloon garland. Another way I install flowers on my balloon garland is by using dot glue. 
depending on which flower you want to put on your balloon garland in this case if they're just like small leaves like this and then i put a dot glue in the back and then i stick it to my balloon garland another way i used to install flowers on my balloon garland is by taking a piece of a balloon here i have a two six inch balloon you can take any other type of balloon which is very small and you want to completely put the edge of your you want to put the completely the edge of your flower and you make sure that the sharp edges are completely covered you have it so there's no sharp end which could harm the balloon just like this and then you insert in between the spaces of your balloon have you ever wondered how to install flowers onto your balloon garland well that is how i install my balloons on my balloon garland and last but not the least you've made your garland but just before you finish the setup they start to pop up have you ever wondered why well it could be that your balloon garland is too tight or it can also be that your balloon garland is so fully inflated when you stretch the balloon and you don't let the air in between it's definitely going to pop or you are using the wrong materials you are using bad or low quality balloons so if you have ever wondered why your balloons are always popping watch out for those three mistakes and that's just about it have you ever wondered why i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up Please, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Follow us on all social media platform at Near Party Deco, my friends. Until next time, it is in. And still, my feelings are so strong. How I miss your face.